Why do you get out of bed in the morning? Why is the important word. You have to have a reason. That reason is what motivates you. What motivates you is your goal. And your goal is more important than all those distractions that surround you. The television program and the mobile phone, which have now become an addiction. The many interesting things that you try to do at once. And of course, the freedom of just sitting around the house, doing absolutely nothing, and achieving absolutely nothing. So the first thing you do in the morning to get you on the path to achieving your goal is to get up, you make your bed. It may not sound like much, but making your bed has a positive psychological impact on you. Don't believe me? Google the importance of making your bed. You'll believe me. You have made your bed, and now you have to focus on your real goal. I don't care what it is, it's your goal. It's important for you, and that is all that matters. With clarity and focus, you decided what your contribution was going to be to yourself, your family, your friends, your community, or maybe even our planet. You saw, in your mind's eye, the future that you were going to make. And now you are taking steps to make that future a reality. It may be something you are not quite ready to undertake. You may need to learn more. So you read books. You take online courses. You continue to educate yourself and develop in small steps. You better yourself. You create goals to achieve your goal. Don't think, just do it and take action. This is my way. You are going to get up early and you will do sports. You are going to develop the habits that will make you successful. Your first goal is self-discipline because continuity beats intensity. There are two enemies you must defeat. The first is your environment. You will stop spending time with naysayers, the people who pull you down, the people who tell you your ideas are no good. You will start spending time with people who will support you, people who will challenge you, people who will ask you the tough questions. Those are the people who will give you the confidence to achieve your goals. You have to find an environment which is constructive not destructive. You have what it takes. You have developed the correct habits. And you have learned the skills necessary to succeed. You have invested in yourself. There is no greater good than that. You will make mistakes. But just as you learn from criticism, you will learn from your mistakes. They will make you strong. They will make you better they will make you smarter. I said a moment ago that you have two enemies to defeat. The second is you, the negative beliefs in your head. More often than not, we are our own worst enemies. We find excuses not to start. There are an infinite number. There is always something else we could be doing, but there is nothing else more important then starting on the path to achieving your goal in life. So start. You can do it. Don't let anyone get in your way. Just because the door closes does not mean you cannot enter the room. All you have to do is discover a new way to enter. You learn to accept change. That is why, for you, the journey may turn out to be your goal and that is perfectly fine. Often, the way is the goal. Just think of what our world would be like if everyone had the simple goal of making themselves better people. Isn't that worth getting out of bed in the morning? Isn't that worth getting rid of the bad habits and negative people in your life? Isn't it worth making yourself an example a role model 
for your peers and young people, I say that that is be a goal worth having, don't you? Start, because the world is waiting for you.